assault and batteries, but my trunks they ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, infamous assault back for a video. I like to say I get too much heat because I'm not legend killer, by the way. That's true. Infamous assault, legendary assault. I just have a lot of tag teams. I finished Rabbi's, Rabbi's Rubik's Cube today. There you go. It's done. I did it halfway. He just literally finished the whole thing. This is... Don't believe this. <laughs> it was already like this when he got it. Today's video, I, I was like, oh, what do I do a video on? Since Justin's here, we may as well make the most out of it. Uh, worst WrestleMania trip that we've been on. I know there's... Uh, how many have I have? I think I've been to six? Six I've or seven? I've been to three. So we have a few options. 30 was the first trip we went on. And that's, then the, that's the GOAT. 30... Yours was 30, 32, 34. and 44. Every I, two I years. A, I have a good track record. Every two years. With me, it was like 27 all the way through 32, which just killed everything. And then we did 34 after 34 that. 34 was a redemption tour. 34 was literally <laughs> the redemption tour. It was a great way to go out, too. I haven't been to Mania since. I guess we can start from the beginning. You want to just run down the whole trip and okay. just go? The beginning of the trip was probably... The, the first part of the trip was amazing. Like, it was going good. Like, we were so excited. We are like, oh, this is going to be better than 30. Biggest WrestleMania. We're going to Dallas. The bigger bigger and better. That's where we're like, oh. Everyone's going to be there. Every, all of our friends were going to be there. Yeah. So we fly on, what, Wednesday? We go to the Mavericks game. We're all hanging out. It's all a good time. We're roaming the streets. We're all making our... Ins it's like a Skype call, but real life. The first day is usually like that anyway. And I remember even beforehand, Miguel built WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas in general, I remember. Miguel was always talking, bro, when they go to Cowboy Stadium, it's going to be so good. Dallas is such a good city. So right off the bat, it was already hyped up so big. And... Like any other WrestleMania trip, the first day is always the most memorable because it's like you haven't seen a lot of people for maybe a year or two, and then we all come together, it's all catching up, we go get food, whatever else you do during the first time, just everyone coming from the airport to the hotel, it's always a good time, the first day. Yeah, I don't know, what would we do we on the second Wal day? We went to Walmart, we went to, um, was it Hard Rock Cafe? No, this true. is when problems started to come up because Breach in his video said, if you see us around, Come hang out with us. Not like say hi and say like whatever. No, come literally sit and hang out with us. Yeah. Which is a problem because we don't know you. Like imagine you were just <laughs> hanging on a table and someone's like, oh, hey, and then just sits and start eating with you. What would you think? Uh, it was definitely an experience. And that's when, not to make us ourselves sound like we're, uh, you know, big league, big leaguing <laughs> people, but it's definitely, it's, I, it's uncomfortable. I feel people's. Like when, when wrestlers get annoyed when people are trying to, uh, where people are disturbing them, trying to get autographs and pictures while they're eating. That's what it was like. And I was like, wow. Like, I remember IHOP two years before where there was wrestlers and everyone's <laughs> just coming. This is what they were going through. We had Wally Mania. Well, yeah, Wally Mania. Yeah, that was the other thing that we were so built up towards because we hadn't done anything like that before. We uh, thought, you thought we we're going to a club. We we're going to party at a club. You're going to get drunk with Miguel and we're going to have a good time. No, we were there, it was a club, and we were watching a podcast, and you were getting mad that you weren't able to drink enough, because Miguel wasn't drinking with you. Miguel never drinks with me, <laughs> that's the one thing I noticed, this man builds up, Ravi, we're gonna get so drunk, we're gonna get so drunk, we have never. No, there was yeah. one time, in that's New Orleans, oh, yeah, true. the last day in New Orleans, he finally got drunk with you. He did, yeah. You know when Miguel's drunk when the, his eye was a little, <laughs> <laughs> a, little a little wonky, you can look at the picture, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't notice. M Miguel, Miguel was pretty fucked up. Oh, uh, Monday in New Orleans, he finally finally did it because he had his girlfriend taking care of him after. Wally Mania, plus I was in the in the peak of my club phase. You remember that? That yeah, was like, that was, another... was uh, single, ready to mingle. <laughs> that was a different... was what 25, 25, trying to be like he's twenty one. And bro, I'm thirty, <laughs> trying to be twenty two right now. Still, uh, that was a different time for me. And like I was fully expecting to go there, just get trashed. And to, to Ivan's credit, he bought shots and we like drank tequila shots, three of those, four of those, I'm done. And that's what we did. So that's when the fun started. Once you had a few drinks in you, a lot of the wrestlers were drinking. Uh, who, who do you guys help with? Meltzer, JR, Chris Hero, MVP, Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio was outside, JR was outside, Colt Cabana was outside. Just a bunch of random There was people. a whole bunch of random people outside. Um, and then I think me and Ivan might have left early and we went back to the hotel. Yeah. I think. And then everyone else kind of followed from there. And once we got back to the hotel, that's when the wrestlers were there. And I think if you go back to my Instagram page, you see everyone from Kurt Hawkins, Victoria, Tommy Dreamer. Like everyone who's at WrestleCon, those mid-card mid guys, they were all at the bar just drinking and having a good time. Me and Ivan went there. 
start doing shots with them. Why not? <laughs> you know? And um, so we went back to the hotel. You came back and we were like, everyone just sitting around. I'm bored. I want to go do something. You take Griff and go to the wrestler's hotel. And then what happens after that? Well, just to <laughs> preface that, I got a text from one uh, now NXT star. Uh, do I say her name? Aaliyah. I guess. Yeah, Aaliyah, whatever. She's like, hey, come to the wrestler's hotel. I'm drinking at the bar, whatever. I'm like, great. You know, I just don't want to go by myself. And everyone else, to me, like, I, I'll go by this, doesn't matter, whatever. If I'm on vacation, the last thing I want to do is sit in my room and do nothing or just sit and chill and talk. I'm like, let's go somewhere. Let's do something. We can literally sit at the hotel anytime. So no one wanted to go except Griff. This is about two in the morning, by the way. <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so Griff, I told Griff, like, bro, we're going to go to the wrestler's hotel. His eyes lit up. Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go. And mind you, I don't remember if Griff was drunk or not, but I remember he might have had one or two, and Griff's not a... Griff's a big guy, but he's easy to get drunk. And uh, I told him, just relax. We're going to go in there, just act like you belong. We were dressed up anyway, we had our dress shirt on. We walk into that wrestler's hotel, and this man just... His soul left his body. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> he just froze. I'm like, Griff, snap out of it. It's okay, because we saw Enzo Amore walk by us. Braun Strowman's there. The Usos are there. Scott Hall's there. Sheamus is there. This man didn't know what to do with his, his himself. <laughs> I'm like, just come to the bar. Just act like you're here. We're a part of NXT. That's it. We're just a couple extras. That's it. <laughs> just act like you belong. That's the motto of my life. Just act like you belong. And we go to the bar. We see Aaliyah, Aaliyah there with Liv Morgan. We're doing some shots. We took some snap things. And uh, here comes my chance to finally, you know... <laughs> years in the making me and Aaliyah, whatever and um so <laughs> we got go for it you know like she's like yeah you know we can hang out you know or go back to the room and drink because they were shutting the bar down at the time and um then i was like to griff i'm like hey i'm gonna go with Aaliyah to, <laughs> to drink so and she was with Liv morgan and he's asking oh why don't i just go with Liv morgan and I was like, that's not how it works. <laughs> and he's kind of like, oh, I don't really want to go back by myself. And he was kind of making a big thing out of it. I'm like, just go, just go. And he wouldn't leave. And then Liv Morgan kind of picked up on what was going on. And she literally took Aaliyah and says, oh, we have to go. So this is the downfall of the trip. This was after that. It was. No, was, we, had a, we had a little peak. And then it went There down. was a peak. There was The first two days weren't bad at all. Look, like talking about it now. Like that was a highlight of my life could have been. But like. <laughs> After that, you know, Friday after... was great. We went to Evolve. Luke came. We got the room from our oh, access true. package. I forgot package, about that. Yeah. And our room was connected through a door so we could, like, go in between each other's rooms. The ironic thing is we had, me and Luke were sharing a room. And then it was you, Gemini, Miguel, and Steve. Yeah. We had, me and Luke, two of us, had a room to fit five. You had an ensuite. You guys, we had the <laughs> click suite. These guys had a little closet with two beds barely any room and we were messy too right especially wrestlemania trips oh, yeah. we got suitcases everywhere steve not the most organized person in the world figures everywhere. We got throws everywhere. Shit everywhere we have wrestling matches in the room man we did that's true <laughs> and you uh, guys had a kitchen we had a kitchen yeah. <laughs> kitchen full bathroom full everything living room office little table on the side but there's only me and luke sharing it so we literally split that room in half like, this is yours this is mine whatever and we kept it clean one little chip got on the floor i'm like yo pick that chip up <laughs> we were very very it's clean with that room. The Shinsuke night, NXT. Oh, yeah. That was like, that was the peak of the trip. Sure. That was like, after that show, we were like on cloud nine, like, oh my God, this is going to be an amazing weekend. Mm -hmm. We're going to have so much fun. We just saw Shinsuke debut. Shinsuke what versus nice... Sami Zayn was amazing. I was actually watching that back, that that clip of him coming out and just doing his little ah, thing on the ropes. Still gave me goosebumps. That was the main day. event of that night, pretty That much. was amazing. What did you have on Saturday? So I had WrestleCon. Yeah. Undertaker, Hall of Fame, and then we would all meet up. Okay. So I only had Evolve. <laughs> <laughs> I had Evolve and then the meetup after them. So I didn't have anywhere to go until, what was it? I think Evolve was around noon for like two hours, and I didn't have anything until five. I think you guys had the WrestleCon Joe. That's where we are going to Yeah, yeah. That's where we are going to meet up. So that was around five or six anyway. Yeah. So I finished the WrestleCon show. I go back to the room. I'm pretty sure I went by myself. I met up with uh, Adam or Ryan from the Boston Bros. I remember that was that day. And then I remember it was me, Miguel, Luke. We're all chilling in the room. And then Ryan Falcone came with his dad, hung out for a bit. And at this point, we had three or four hours to kill. I was like, let's do something. And then I remember, and I hate to call him out on this, but it was Miguel. He was like, <laughs> bro, bro, like, no, dude, like, I just want to stay here in the room for a bit. And I'm like, it's like 
three o'clock. <laughs> we have two or three hours, and they're literally just on Twitter looking through their phones and stuff. I'm like, we can literally do this anytime. And that right there was, I think, the thing that set me off where it was like, why am I here? Not why am I here, but like, we could be doing something, anything else that doesn't involve being around these four corner walls. And I remember it was very awkward too because no one was talking to each other because we were just so like on our phones and whatever and it got uncomfortable and, it, and then when these guys came they're all hyped about meeting the undertaker i guess luke wasn't there because luke was meeting undertaker with you right yeah so me phil and i think luke was just at access okay and um we met undertaker it took three hours to meet undertaker that was the worst access in the history of access i was like i'm i'm gonna quit meeting wrestlers all together because and undertaker has a fucking black eye which didn't make the picture good True. and the, and they that was back when they were making taking pictures on tablets so the picture quality wasn't uh-huh. even the greatest i didn't even know that um so we come back to the room drop off our stuff then go to hall of fame and like hall of fame was just like we're just hanging out in hall of fame but we were so exhausted from standing three hours to meet undertaker that i was just like i'm tired the wrestlecon show i don't even i think the hardy boys might have shown up there that might have been like some sort of main event i really don't remember but just that day i did two things one in the morning and one in the evening that whole middle there was no middle you can watch that video you'll see maybe 11 to 2 and then nothing until 7 until 11 nothing and after that i was like you know what a wasted day oh so it gets even worse so i don't know whose idea to go get whataburger i never even oh, heard yeah. of whataburger <laughs> so, <forget> about that. <laughs> so we go to the hotel we're like we're gonna get whataburger i'm like all right we're down we're hanging out we're gonna go somewhere we jump in this uber we find like this plastic knife in the back of the uber so we're all just joking around we go to whataburger the worst <laughs> i don't know minus six stars i don't i don't eat burger king here because it's so old dry bland whataburger got built up so high because everyone's like you know we gotta try it whatever whatever it's a uh, terrible two in the morning one in the morning wherever it was terrible it was Griff? fun hanging out with everybody but it was just like terrible food we yeah. could have gone anywhere else we could have mcdonald's and yeah, anything would have been better and we had to take a 30 minute uber to get there that like. was literally the cherry on top i remember <laughs> that's when we were just like it's two in the morning we could be sleeping right now i would have starved i would have honestly pizza three days in a row would have been fine at that point point. and then came sunday where i remember i had access in the morning to meet seth rollins and no one else went to access i don't think and I was so mad that I didn't even bother to wake up like an hour before the session and wait in line. I just literally woke up when the session started, walked to access, met Seth Rollins, walked right out. That's how mad I was. So pre-game for Mania, we're all hyped up. We have the package. We, we're, buses are going to come pick us up. VIP entrance to the, to the arena. We don't have to wait in no line. We go right into the building. We go to our seat. It's fine. We're what, risers maybe? We are dead center, row 10, risers. Bro, One, you remember all that shit. Oh, yeah. I remember J. So it was about 10, I think, if you count up. We hyped this up for... Yeah, Nine. there you go. Nine, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, we hyped this up for forever. No, 10. Was it 10? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, fine. Whatever. Anyways, we're hyped up. We're going to go to Mania. We're VIP access. We're going to get there. We're going to have a great time. It's WrestleMania, 100,000 people. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. How do you... How is this going to... How is this going to fail us? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. We get to we get dropped off and we don't get no special entrance we walk up to the building oh it's fine there's a big line okay it's fine we get us we we're we're with everybody we're all talking it's what three o'clock and the mm-hmm. show starts at six yeah we had, a, like we had a while and the doors are open but the line's not moving the line's not and we noticed and like maybe half hour into it like we haven't moved yeah. and then word starts getting around that like the security thing's not working yeah and they can't scan tickets so it's like, okay, like this is the biggest event. of. There's 100,000 people here. They need to figure something out. And an hour goes by, two hours go by. And, and the minus, pre-show's on. Yeah, the pre-show's on at this point. We hear it. And there's, there's people somehow getting their way in, but like you really had to squeeze your way through the crowd to make it into the building. I don't even know how it worked, honestly. We ended up walking around to a different entrance to get in, I remember. Yeah. If we would have waited in the line we were at, we wouldn't have made it to the show. Miguel at one point s- said we should go to a bar and wait and then come back and go to Mania. And like, I'm not missing an hour of WrestleMania. True. We, we flew here for this reason. That's Why true. are we going to go to some random spot to hang out, to watch it, and then come back to the arena? That makes no sense. I just pulled it out now. <laughs> when we had time to go to a bar, you wanted to sit in the room. But now we're at the show. Oh, let's go to a bar. Fuck you, Miguel. 
Um, oh, it's hot too. Yeah, it's I was like gonna say forty 20. degrees outside. So hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I don't know. I, I feel, I'm oh breach. Alma gets to a fight with some big uh, guy, like uh, three hundred pound guy. I'm pretty sure that was in Dallas. Actually, that was the day one. No, no, this is in line. I don't remember to go to the arena. Pretty much, breach is moving up. This guy's. Oh, yeah. No, no, the, the big guy trying to move up. Breach is, like, grinding up against behind him, like, I'm not letting you by. And then they go... <laughs> and then they go face to face. And then we're like, oh, shit, we got to go do something. And then pretty much the guy just cooled off and walked around. But, like, yeah, Everyone almost a fight sleeping. almost happened. Yeah. Like, this was, like, two and a half hours into the line and mania is going on. The lady who fell and broke her teeth? Oh, a lady tripped onto a... What are those things? Those parking... Uh, I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's things. like one of those stones to make sure you don't... The thing you go get the curb rash on. Yeah, and um, to she bro- tripped over and broke her two front teeth. Unreal. I didn't even know. I, I saw it and I turned around there's blood <laughs> everywhere. And Gemini I, lost his ticket to Mania. Oh, had to go buy a new oh, one. Oh, <laughs> smokes. I didn't even forgot all about that. This, this is a... This is a terrible day. <laughs> so we're hot. People are losing their teeth. People are getting into fights. People are losing their tickets. We can't move any closer we're into the building. We're just sweating. So no now, water, no anything. Yeah, oh, that's true. <laughs> I remember you took someone's water, didn't you? Because you were, like, so dehydrated. Okay, so when we get into the building, we finally think, okay, we're in. Yeah. No, you hit another crowd of people. You're 100,000 people. <laughs> These guys ran off without me. I don't know if you remember. I was the last one to get to my seat. These guys were already at their seat. I, I, I snuck through, and I just kept going by myself. I'm like, screw this. Yeah, Everyone I, had their own ticket, and it was like every man for themselves. That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> um, Me, I got through the thing, and I'm like, which way do I go? I go left. I was supposed to go right. And I eventually just kind of found my way down. When did you make it to your seat? Was the anthem was playing. They were singing the anthem, and yeah. I found Luke. And, like, me and Luke, like, ran down the spiral. And the worst part is you're in the in the foyer and you hear the pre-show. But you can't see anything because there's all concrete around you. It's like, it's, it's like torture. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, it sounds terrible. So I made it down. I missed the pyro. The video, the pyro I used for my video was actually his. Yeah, I just made it for the pyro. It and was me, Breach, and Luke that made it to their seat. Really? So Miguel didn't make it? No, it was you and Miguel came after, like sure. five minutes after when Owens and Zayn were coming I out. remember I made it when Kevin Owens was coming out. That's what I remember when Kevin Owens thing, because I'm like, man, this is this guy's first WrestleMania, and I wanted to, like, see the whole thing. No, yeah. Barely. And then the show, we're just, we're tired, dehydrated, and we're just like, eh, like, <laughs> it's kind of whatever. We're finally here, but we're yeah. just, like, done. Are we here, though? Yeah. Um, yeah. I checked out once my favorite match I was looking most forward to, Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar happened, and it was the biggest letdown. Oh, man. When That's they, when I was like, fuck this show. <laughs> fuck this trip. They <laughs> they were showing the suplex numbers on the top of the screen. I don't think anyone remembers that. No, I, yeah. I was, I was watching it actually at work. They were playing WrestleMania on, yeah. uh, and I was like, I was telling everyone, like, I was that, that show. I was having no fun at all. But <laughs> Except one moment. Uh, Shane jumping off the cell was fun, and then... The biggest markout moment of my life happened. <laughs> to this day, I don't know how he remembers like it was yesterday. He brings it up more than I do. I remember, because Ravi doesn't mark out. <laughs> I, I turn over. Austin's music hits. So this Ravi's is, on his chair. Yeah, somehow I ended up on my chair. There was, uh, what, what was the whole thing to that? It, it was, was like uh, the New Day versus, I think, Del Rio, that weird team. What was their name? I can't uh, remember. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it was, yeah, Del Rio, Rusev, and Wade Barrett. Yeah. And... They were like, we'll fight anybody, you know, whatever, whatever. So then McFoley comes out, Shawn Michaels comes out, and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden that glass broke. <laughs> Holy, some, I was standing like this, next thing you know, I was on my chair. I looked down, I'm like, how the hell did I get up here? <laughs> and that was like, that was what I knew, like, marking out was that, that one thing. So that was your peak. That was the peak. <laughs> I never, I don't know, I've never got on my chair after that. So one thing came out of this WrestleMania trip, Ravi yeah. marked out. <laughs> and uh, I know one of the things Miguel loves to bother me about is how I left the ending. At, at this time, again, my Instagram, like, raking in those views. Your in Instagram those likes. was your YouTube at that point. Pretty much. <laughs> I left the ending to Shane and Undertaker to go upload the video of Shane jumping off the cell because I was getting no service inside the thing, so I had to go to the... Oh, other right! The at and so bad, we couldn't get at and service in the stadium. I forgot yeah. about that. There you go. That's how bad it was. So we're trying to, like, post stuff on our Instagram or Twitter, and it's like nothing. Terrible. Nothing, especially the year before. We were in, um... What was that? Levi Stadium. Google Central. <laughs> I had two phones, and I was refreshing them. That wheel never spun so fast in my life. Never in my life. I've seen internet that fast. 
Um, and then the main event, Roman and uh, I'm a vest on. I was pumped. I still have the vest and the glove. To... It felt so deflating because the whole crowd was cheering for everything but the match. Yeah, that was the beginning of like trolling a match. I feel yeah. like. And that's it. We went home, ordered pizza, and we all went to sleep. We had pizza three or four times. <laughs> we literally live off pizza. That, bu- <laughs> that bus ride home was so depressing because it was raining. Was it? Yeah, it was It was raining, it was dark, and I was just like... It was quiet, I remember. It was just like, well, that was it. Yeah, we're kind of just sitting there, everyone's all... Uh, I remember 31, the year before, in Rollins cash, and everyone's hyped, and we took the same little ferry, little train back. Piped. Total opposite. Our Mania picture didn't come out good. It was just... Oh, true. Yeah, even the Mania pictures didn't come out good either. Yeah, we never post that to this day. My WrestleMania shelf, I always bring this up. Every WrestleMania, just above my shoulder there, I have a picture of every very WrestleMania, the group shot, except 32. I didn't even know. He actually told me. He's like, oh, bro, you don't have 32 up there. I'm like, oh, yeah. I literally don't. <laughs> Monday was the Brazilian Steakhouse Day, was which a, was which was, was all right. I think we're trying to salvage what happened on the Sunday, but there was no salvaging. Yeah, I thought we would go to more of a hole, not hole in the wall, but more of a casual kind of place. And this was some high end, like people were in like their dress shirts and stuff at this Brazilian Steakhouse. I remember I was there in my, uh, we're, everyone was in a wrestling, we're wrestling shirt and hats. That's all we were yeah. wearing. So it was a little bit awkward because there was literally two or three people in there. And even you can tell the servers were kind of like confused too. Like, oh, what do these like clowns want? <laughs> and um, I made sure I tipped the wall just because, yeah. you know. And I remember, and Steve can't separate wrestling from normal life. So I remember he was there, he's chanting and he's all like, ah, I'm like, yo, relax. We're going to get our kicked out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get ourselves kicked out of here. But no, the food was fine. That's all I really remember. We went to JFK. That was all right. That was okay. And then Raw. And then. I don't remember. What happened at Raw? Cesaro came back. AJ said, this is my house. And then we went home. <laughs> That's all I remember That's from all. Raw. We went home, Dallas? Well, what time was our flight at? I don't know, the afternoon. When I left Dallas, I was like, was it worth coming here? <laughs> That's what I thought. Same, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, "Did I? why did I come here? <laughs> yeah, That was one WrestleMania I wish I would have skipped knowing how it turned out. Beforehand, I was hyped. First two days, I was hyped. If I flew home Saturday, I'd be fine. We would have had... <laughs> great, would have been up there. What a, what a wonderful time. But sometimes things happen. You live and learn. And from there, that's when you pick and choose which WrestleManias you're going to with the people that are there and the location. Also, you got, people are going to be like, oh, but you had so much fun these days. But we're there for WrestleMania. We pay for WrestleMania. That's a chunk of our trip. And then it was just a bad day. Bad days. Yeah, there you go. There were bad days. Damn. Good times. There you go. For we the said most we're going to make this video with 10 minutes. How, yeah, how much are you going to cut this down? I'm going to cut it down a lot. <laughs> Holy smokes. We'll, we'll make it like 20. All right, there you go. Okay. That's it. Don't go to Dallas for WrestleMania. Yeah, stay <laughs> out of Texas. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye.